Carbohydrates, glycosidic linkage. The word glyco is Latin for glucose. Do you remember what glucose means? Dehydration synthesis is a process by putting together by removing water. So the picture on the right, we have two glucose, and when you remove them, it leads to the picture on the left, water was removed and they're put together. That link in the middle is called a glycosidic linkage. Glyco means glucose, so it's a sugar link. Dehydration synthesis. Have you noticed that sugar is dry? That's because we remove what? What do we remove? We remove water in order to put sugar together. That's why sugar was dry, because water was removed. So to make sugar wet, it will break apart, which is the opposite process. That's what happened when we eat. When we eat, we use our saliva, which is wet, and it will break up the sugar, which is the opposite process. Plant put the sugar together, we break it apart to use it for energy. Now the opposite of dehydration synthesis, it has a name too. It's when water was removed to put it together, so now we're going to do the opposite. How do we break it apart? We're going to put water and we'll be able to break it apart. And the name of it is called hydrolysis. Hydro is water and lysis means to break apart. So you break apart by putting in water. Hydrolysis. The word lysis means to break apart. Hydro is water. Breaking apart using water. Hmm, haven't we heard the word lysis before somewhere? Ah, it's in the word lysosome. It's the organelle in the cell as you see in the bottom. So what's the function of the lysosome? It's to break things up inside the cell. See, Latin root word is very important. You see it around all the time and that's how scientists go about naming stuff. They use usually the same pattern. Okay, so we learned about the process involved. Dehydration synthesis to put sugar together by removing water. Hydrolysis is the opposite, which is to break sugar apart by adding water. So now we're going to learn a little bit about glucose structure. So here we have two glucose. Have you noticed the difference between them? On the left, it's called an alpha glucose. Notice the OH both on the bottom, same side. On the right, it's called a beta glucose. Notice how the OH are on opposite of each other. So the question is, does difference matter? It's only one flip. Well, we'll learn it later about it and we'll see how it affects um, the creation of a polysaccharide. Last words. Chemist's last words. This is a completely safe experimental setup. Boom! Well, I guess not. <laughs>